Welcome back. It's Memorial Day. Happy Memorial Day. So, let's get started. Day 17, May 25th, page 33 and 34, and the donut page. We finally reached the last week of May, and we can finally do the donut problem. Do you remember in the packet I mailed home the donut problem? Well, I just happened to bring in a box of donuts today, and we're going to start eating the donuts before and after each lesson so that we can get through the entire box for this week and understand the probability of picking each donut. But before we do that, we've got to make sure that we know it's Memorial Day. No school today. You're supposed to come on Friday. Well, I'm going to have a virtual class this morning for ICANN this afternoon for math. Friday, I'll have the morning session for ICANN and the afternoon session for math. Because everybody's weeks are all messed up. Some people get to go out, some people don't get to go out. Not that big a deal. I'm available. All right. We've got to start out with our shout outs. So let's do that, okay? So the first thing is, we've got our Christmas bells. Period three. Shout outs this week go to Abby, Ari, Kate. What's that? You forgot. Dun, dun, dun. Yes, we did. We forgot the megaphone. Here we go again. Abby, Ari, Caleb, Noah, KDG, Autumn, JD, Wolf, Grace, Dylan, JC, Annie, Cadence, Alyssa, Jake, Andre, and Ryan. And special shout out to Grace for Mathia and Cadence completed Mathia. All right, let's go on to period three. That was period three. Let's go to period four. Darrell, Kaylee, Morgan, Quinn, Kira, Gideon, Ariam, Owen, Christy, Jonathan, Trison, Austin, and Mirtha. And special shout outs for the Mafia folks. Darrell, Morgan, Quinn, Gideon, and Christy. Let's go on to period five. Jaden, Monroe, Lucas, Sydney, Elise, Corey, Mackenzie, Cole, Joshua, Hillary, Lane, Tanya, Abigail, Kaylin, Zane, Bree, and Zach. And again, our shout outs for Mathia people, Lucas, Elise, Abigail, and Zane. And don't forget, Tanya has completed Mathia. Those are our shout outs for the day. Let's ring our bells. Now, before I go on to the lesson for the day, mail. I have completed what I'm calling the 12-12-20 series, the month of June. School's going to go on till the 19th, and we have Monty's 12-12-20 series. 12 lessons, 12 days, 20 minutes a day. So look into your mail, because I've finally finished stamping all the envelopes and that'll be coming to you soon so that we're ready for a week from today. Yes, next Monday is June. Hopefully you watched the video yesterday and you're starting to think about balls that fly. What goes up must come down and building a bridge. Think about building some sort of a bridge for our lessons in the month of June. Okay. I'll see you real soon when we do today's donut page and our two problems. See you soon. Welcome back. Let's do the donut problem. If you think back a month ago, you've got a mailer, okay? The back page of the mailer talked about the donut problem. Now, normally I do this in June because National Donut Day is June 5th, but 
We're a week early. Okay, so on the donut problem, we're trying to figure out the probability of picking donuts. Okay, so I have our actual box of donuts, and we're going to eat these donuts during our lessons. So this donut is set up just like the picture. Okay, think probability of picking a maple bar. Stare at them. If you don't know the names of all the donuts, that's okay. I'll help you. There's two maple bars in here, and a dozen is 12. So the probability of picking the maple bar today is 2 of 12. Okay? Serious. I'm going to reach in, and I'm going to pick one maple bar. Yum. Okay? So, go ahead and fill out that first category. 2 of 12. Simplify 1 out of 6. Okay? Now, the key is tomorrow. Tomorrow, we want to pick a chocolate bar. So, tomorrow, chocolate bar. What's the probability that tomorrow, if I just reach in without looking, I pick out a chocolate bar? That's your assignment. All right? So there's step one of our donut problem. We're going to work through that through the whole week, okay? All right. So let's get started. Page 23, number five. This week's scenarios basically use all of the knowledge from the last three weeks. Serious. Let's take a look. Now, in problem 33, excuse me, on page 33, problem number five, there's a chart. Table shows the birth months of the students in the class. If four students were the class were chosen at random, just reach in, grab four, pull them out. What is the probability that they will have birthdays in June, July, August? Okay, well, let's just do it. There's 28 total students. If you add them all up, 28. Now, I circled June, July, August. How many in June, July, and August? There's nine students that fit. Well, we want the probability that all the students, all four, came from June, July, and August. Let's just write out the numbers, okay? The very first time I reach in, there's nine that fit of the 28. Nine over 28. Now, the second time I reach in, I've already got one pulled out. How many are left that fit? Eight. But there's not 28 students left. There's 27. Third time, seven of 26, because I already got one, already got one, already got one. They're set aside. Each time here, this went down by one, didn't it? Because there's one less each time. Six of 25. Here's the concept. I was trying to get you to throw dice. I was trying to get you to pick cards. I was trying to get you to pick those potato chips and grandma's cookies out so that you could see that each time we ate the donut, each time we ate the potato chip, each time we dealt the cards, it decreased, it decreased, it decreased. And each time we picked here, the key person got chosen. Can you see that? That's the key to success, is understanding what is happening there. The rest of it's just a math problem. It's just a matter of typing it into a calculator. Don't worry about that. I need you to be able to visualize. Each time I take a donut, it decreases by one. Tomorrow, there's only 11 donuts left because I'm eating this donut today. 
Serious, it's gone. Whoosh. Okay? So, let's just do this math real quick. If we multiply 9 times 8 times 7 times 6, 3024. 3024. And we multiply 28 times 27 times 26 times 25. Wow. 49. 491,400. Wow. Okay, you could spend some time simplifying. That's good enough for me. If you simplify, cut it in half, cut it in half, cut it in half. Divide by three, divide by three, divide by three, divide by seven. The computer answer actually is two over 325. So, this week I want you to try to make sense of the problem, okay? What is the probability? 28 students, like our class, reach in, pull four out, and they're during those months. It's only going to happen two times for every 325 times we try it. Wow, that's not very likely, is it? Okay. Good enough? All right. So now we want to go to page 34, okay? You have the skills to do every problem, but every problem has a little twist. Every problem has a twist, okay? Page 34, problem number one. Use the addition rule of probability and determine the probability that one or the other of the dependent activities will occur. Cool. Now remember, keywords, or, remove. Dependent, remove. The donut is gone gone, not going back. Keep that in your mind as we do this problem. And remember, we have a note page. You remember your note page? Keep that note page because that will go with you in your math career. Let me pop that math note page up here so that we can remember or. Okay, so on your note page, the probability of A or B is equal to the probability of A, piece of cake. Probability of A, probability of B, piece of cake. Minus the probability of A and B. Careful now, A or B, but we removed an item. Okay, so let's do the math. We have 20 socks, okay? 20 socks, 20 socks, 20 socks. Probability of A, well, what's the first one we're gonna pick out? Two. No, oh, let's see. Uh, six, six, six blue socks. Probability of picking a blue sock. Six of the 20. That was easy. Now, what's the probability of green? Or the second one is a green. Green? That's just four. Four out of 20. So, we did these problems early last week. We did these problems early last week. Here's the catch. Dependent. The probability of A and B. Well, 6 out of 20 times 4 out of 19. Okay, this is what made it different than last week. Right there. We pulled out the first sock, okay, the blue. We could pull out a green, but for both of them to happen, first it's 6 out of 20, then it's 4 out of 19. There's the change. Versus last week where they were independent, this week they are dependent. Okay, so thanks for going through that. You have these skills. There's just little tweaks in each problem, okay? So we do the math, and what do we get? Big numbers, right? This is 10 out of 20. And the next one, we're going to put that into a calculator, 24 over 380. We really don't like those kind of fractions. And our final answer, just using a calculator, 83 
of 190. Again, I want you to try to make sense of what's happening with the math, okay? The probability of picking the blue sock or a green sock is 83 times out of 190 times. Wow, okay, so that's like half a year, right? Okay, so thanks for participating with the math this week. I'm hoping you enjoy Donut Week. I hope it's not just a virtual donut. You could think of cookies, make believe, right? And today was the probability of getting maple bark. There was two out of 12, but tomorrow, What's the probability of a chocolate bar? There's two chocolate bars. How many donuts are left in the box? Now you fill this out for tomorrow, okay? And remember this video is already posted. I might see you today in the virtual classroom at one o'clock. On Friday, you can come back and rewatch this video. I can see you on Friday in the virtual classroom at one o'clock. It's all good. I hope you have a great Memorial Week. I hope you look forward to the envelope. I hope you look forward to building bridges. And if nothing else, you can look forward to watching me eat these donuts every day. Mmm, not everything make believe. <laughs>